Hey guys, I'm Emma and this is Sierra and this is my channel Wonderless Star and we are going to do a best friend tag where we're going to ask most likely two questions and <laughs> we're each going to hold up our the answer that we think and we're going to see if we agree on them. So yeah, I have a feeling, I don't know, I have a feeling most of these will agree on. Hopefully. Okay. Hopefully we do. First okay. One. The first one is, who's most likely to break someone's heart? Someone else's heart. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, two three. Uh, oh, yeah, we <laughs> agree on that one. Mostly because I've already had experience with that a little bit. I, I, I just don't think about the stuff I'm doing <laughs> and how it might affect people. You just kind of do it. Yeah, I just do stuff and I don't think about how it might affect people, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next one is most likely to get heartbroken. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a sensitive soul. Yeah, I just, yeah. I'm a drama queen, so that's why. Okay, who is most likely to win the Hunger Games? Which, oh my gosh, that movie, Catching Fire, was so good. So, if you haven't read the books, or if you have read the books, either way, watch the movie. It's fabulous. Okay, ready? Set. <laughs> One, two, three. Go. What? <laughs> okay. The reason I think I would is because, oh, what district was it? Um, the Lunatics from District, the one Morphlings? The Morphlings? The, yeah, the ones from, I forget what district, but in Catching Fire, they hid the whole time, and then at the end, like, they hid until everyone was dead, and then that's how they won. And they went insane. I forget what district that was from. So you would hide, are you yeah. good at hiding? Yes, I really am. I would just climb a tree. And sit on top of there the whole entire time. Actually, I'm rethinking this because I have, I, I can't kill anything. Like, I can't even flush a fish down a toilet. So, the reason I was thinking this is because I'm more, like, athletic. And <laughs> yeah. I'm learning archery right now. But all you have to do is be able to throw a knife. Can you throw a knife, Sierra? Anyone can throw a knife. Just go like Not well. <laughs> I think I would just hide the whole entire time until the very end and wait out the other person. Well, hopefully we never have to figure out <laughs> who would win. Oh, that'd be so sad. That would be really bad. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're next. Oh. Take charge in situations. Oh. Snap. This one's hard. Okay, ready? I think I know what your answer is going to be. I think I know what your answer is going to be. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I am a really bad control freak. And so that's why. I think it's weird because if you weren't there, then I would take charge. Yeah. But if you're there, I would let you take <laughs> charge. I'm not good with giving other people the reins and letting them take charge at all whatsoever but the thing with it is if you're in charge i can like just tell you what i want exactly and you'll do it <laughs> and I, it's like you're the one stressing out about everything and i don't even have to worry about anything yeah because... but like when things out of hand i'm always the one that's like okay stop we need to figure this out and sort it out that's but we're much. both really big control for you yeah. So that's why I was having a tough time at first. But then I was like, well, Sierra's definitely going to pick herself. <laughs> so. <laughs> it shows you a kind of control freak I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Who is most likely to cry in public? Okay. Ready? Two, three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> definitely. Oh, I keep moving the wrong way. You, like, never cry. Yeah. Well, or I, even in I used to never cry at all. Like, at all. <laughs> I had no emotions. Um, and then I 
started like this past year my emotions have been haywire with just a lot of stuff going on and so I cry a lot more easily now but I still don't cry in public I think I I cried in I've cried at church when my grandpa passed away yeah but, but that, that was like serious it, yeah that was the, that was like really serious but I would never cry about anything else I cry about everything yeah, Sierra cries about all the time. Everything. So. I cry in public all the time. Can't even count how many times I've cried in public. So, yeah. It's definitely you. Okay. Toughest time saying no. So, who has the toughest time saying no? Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. One, One two, two, three. Whoa. Well, we did... <laughs> I was gonna do. do I was gonna do me. I was gonna say that I have the toughest time saying no, but you always like. I think you never. Too. Yeah, you never want to like disappoint someone. Yeah. Like I think I, it's easier for me to like, tell someone younger no for me. Like I can like tell them yeah, what to true. do, but like older, I, I don't know. That's why I thought you. I don't know. I always have good excuses to say no. <laughs> <laughs> but I never, but I always get really upset when I have to tell people no. Yeah. Because I always just, like, want to help everyone. So I think, yeah, I think you're right on that. I think it's Emma. Yeah, I think you're right. Okay. Um, who was most likely to throw a diva tra- tantr- <laughs> tantrum? Tantrum. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was a no brainer. Yeah, I yeah, I'm a diva. I'm more chill and if some like I don't get angry very easily at all and then I don't get I get annoyed but it's usually like, Oh my gosh, that's so annoying and that's all I do. <laughs> <laughs> I there's so many diva tantrums. Okay. Most flirty. Most flirty. This is kind of hard. Yeah, I'm kind of having issues with this. No, okay. I got it. You ready? Uh, okay. One, two, two three. Uh, oh. <laughs> We're both really flirty. We really are. Okay, but think about it at church. Yeah. Who's the most flirty? Well, you are at church. But you have... See, I don't really have anyone at church that I'm, like, want to be flirtatious with. I think I'm the most flirty. If we go to, if okay, if we go to somewhere where we don't know anyone, I'm the most, 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 I'm the most flirty. If it's, like, strangers, I'm the most flirty. I'm getting better, though. Yeah. I really am. But then... It's just that right now, I'm really, like, not very flirty right now, because I never even see any guys. Because <laughs> I'm always home alone. I flirt all like the time a loser. at school. It's bad. So, yeah, I don't go to school. So... <laughs> so, guys, if you're out there, come stalk me. I need to flirt with someone. <laughs> it's getting better at flirting, though. Whatever. I think we're both... I uh, no, I think... Okay. I what think, were you gonna say? No, I just I think we both flirt a lot. We really do. Yeah, we're both really flirty. Okay, <clears throat> most likely to kiss a stranger, which is kind of kind of the same thing. Kind of the same thing, but I I think I looked at yours on accident, but I was already gonna answer it. Oh, uh, so. one, a two, two three. three. Yeah. Yeah. Even though, okay, I haven't even had my first kiss, but I'm more comfortable with strangers, I think, than Sierra is, and and, See, I, I, have, and I just said that I'm more flirty with strangers. Yeah, I would, I have, I have daydreams about, like, <laughs> what if I just randomly went up and kissed that guy? Like, I have those, but, I mean, I don't think, I don't think I'd ever go up and do it. I don't think I ever actually would. But I think I'm more likely to. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's more of a possibility that I would. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Most likely to lose their ID. Okay, I'm... 
Oh snap. <laughs> I have a really logical re reasoning for this one. Okay, ready? Well, I know your answer then, but I'm still gonna... Okay. One, two, two three. three. Okay, <laughs> it's because I can't go anywhere without leaving something. I left my scarf at work yesterday. Oh, yeah, she always leaves... Every time she leaves my house, she leaves something. And then in your car, I always leave something. See, the thing with me is I always lose important stuff. I just always leave something. I always lose either my phone, my keys, <laughs> or, or this my morning, wallet. Or your ring. Or my ring. <laughs> <laughs> like, I always lose important stuff, and I spend, like, hours... Or that one time we spent like literally forty five minutes trying to find your phone. It was in your car. Yeah. Like I'm so bad. See, <laughs> so I lose I I think I'm more likely to lose something like I an ID because like would you ever leave your wallet somewhere? You left your wallet in my car once actually. So. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think I just think I leave stuff everywhere. It's I would leave my ID. I mean it's just a small little thing but so hard to leave. Yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Who is most likely to fall asleep in class? One, okay. two, three. three. Yeah. Yeah, I fall asleep <laughs> in class all the time. All the time. Especially if we're not doing anything. What was it? Thursday? Thursday I fell asleep in three classes in a row. It was bad. Our sophomore year, I slept in class all the time. But then I missed so much school that anytime I was at school, I could not fall asleep because I needed to know what was going on. I, I think I'm more likely to like actually want to get the information and I fell asleep in math the other day. That's How do you good. do that? How do you fall asleep in math? I did. Yeah, I I. <clears throat> Once again, I, I don't go to school now, so <laughs> if you can, I mean, since I do work at home, I fall asleep at home all the time, so. No, it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. <laughs> okay, most likely to say the wrong thing at the wrong time during, like, a pressure situation. Ready? One, two, three. Yeah. yeah. See, when you get nervous, you just kind of, like, say things. It just kind of, like, comes out. Like, if a random stranger would come ask you, like, how old are you? What grade are you? And all this stuff. Well, you'd be like, oh, I'm Emma, and I'm 18 years old, and I go to Saginaw High School. Here's my address. That's what would happen if a random stranger came up to her. I would just tell them my whole life story, and... <laughs> I'm still in high school, but I want to go to this college, and this college, and this college, and this college... Yeah. Like, in pressured, pressured situations, you always yeah. say the wrong thing. Yeah, if I'm nervous thing. or something, then I just, like, talk. And that's All not the time. good. <laughs> I just start talking, and I, like, say awkward things <laughs> or the wrong things or to the wrong people, <laughs> and I, yeah. Yeah, I'm, really, I'm really bad at that. I'm really good under pressure just to, like, know what to say. I'm just... I'm not... <laughs> So if I'm if there if someone ever like tries to mug me, I can't rely on talking to them to get out of the situation because I'll probably just be like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what I would say. Like but here's my wallet. Really it would probably be really bad. I don't know. Sometimes they say that you're supposed to just give them your wallet and run off. <laughs> you would lose your ID then. <laughs> And then they'd have my credit cards and... Yeah, that's what Ooh. mugging is. You take all their money! But oh, I mean, wow. like, they could steal my identity. Yeah. That'd be really bad. So don't give your wallet away. Wait, wait, wait. Who, who, would, who would be most likely to say the wrong thing at the wrong time, like, when someone got hurt? Or, like, if someone's having, like, a panic attack or something like that? I think I'm really good in those situations. I'm not... When yeah. someone falls or, like, gets hurt, I have to, like, hold myself from laughing. It is so bad. When was it? <clears throat> okay, well, no, one time Alondra fell in the middle of the cafeteria, like, flat on her butt, and I laughed hysterically. 
hysterically for like five minutes and I didn't even know if she was Oh, and then when you fell off the trampoline, I was just still there laughing. I like fell off the trampoline and Lauren, Lauren goes like, where are your glasses, Sierra? And then Emma just laughs and I'm like, okay guys, whatever. Don't like, care about don't me. Don't even care if she's okay or anything. She fell on her back. Like, like, I had a big bruise on my back. She could have, like, broken something, and <laughs> I didn't even care. I was just laughing. I think we're both really bad. I just laugh. Whenever someone falls or gets hurt, it's, I have to hold myself in from laughing. Yeah. So hard. So I think it depends on the situation, which one. Yeah, exactly. Good or not. All right, well, that is the end of our little video. Hopefully you liked it. And hopefully my future self laughed and <laughs> knows all of the real answers <laughs> now. And, um, yeah, you should like and subscribe. And we are doing a video on her channel. It's going to be awesome. And, and we I'll... haven't figured out how to click at my face yet. Yeah. So if you know how to do that, let us know. Comment. <laughs> and let us know because we're new and we don't know how to do technical stuff at all. So, so just yeah. go down to the description box. Yeah. So everything will be out. in the description. We're yeah. going to do a Disney challenge, right? We're doing a Disney challenge. <coughs> and see who's the biggest fun. Disney maniac. Which I'm actually really, I'm really excited to see who it's going to be because I think it'll be really close. Yeah, because I think I am, but then there's going to be a couple that like I'm not sure about I, I think I am but I'm like I don't know I feel like she's gonna I like come up out of the know. darkness and like <laughs> steal it <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. okay all right bye 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 bye